Hello, this is my video tutorial for the PolyArt Photoshop Action. This is the effect you will get with the PolyArt Photoshop Action on your images. It is an editable and adjustable action, so you will find layers that you can modify. I will show you now some images I have done with this action. This is a combination image of two actions, the model shape action and the polyart, and this is the final design. You can see the details of the 100%. This is also an image modified with two of my actions, the space light action and the polyart. So you can modify images with more actions than one. This is the same image only with the polyard. And this is the image I'm going to show you this action. This is the starting image. And this is the image when the action ends. I will show you what you can modify from this point. For the beginning, let's see how you can load an action in Photoshop. Go to the menu window, click Actions or click Alt and F9. The action menu will pop up. Click on the upper right corner. Load Actions. Select the action which came with the download. Click load and will pop up on the action menu. Select the image you want to edit and just click play the action and let it finish the rendering. The first step you need to do to run the action, make sure that your image is in RGB mode. For the best effect, resolution must be around 2000 pixels with 4000 pixels. This is the area with where the action uh, creates the best layer effects. So you have a smaller image around let's say 1000 pixels, it will be good to scale it to minimum 2000 to 3000 pixels. You can do this by going images, image size and change the image size of your image. You see that for this image my width is 2000 pixels and the height is 3000 pixels. Make sure that your your image is background image so it's flattened. If your image it is named somehow layer 0, 1, 2, 3 or whatever, you can go to the layer menu, new, background from layer, and this is the re result we need. So you can run the action in your image. Let's start how you can edit your design. These are all the layers when the action ends. Two groups, one color adjustment group, one polyart, one layer, the basic image adjustment. When the, when the action ends, you will find your layer like, like this. So you can hit Control Alt and click on the layers so it collapse all groups or the command option on the Mac keyboard. You have all these layers in the polyar group. All of these layers are smart objects that carries some filter effects on each layer. I will start with showing you the basic image adjustments 
which also is a smart object so if you double click the icon of the layer it will pop up another PSD file which are the starting basic adjustments I made on the image so I could take this result I will double click it now click OK and this is the starting image you have some layers here too you will see I made it to look like a realistic paint feel this makes it smoother and gives more contrast in some areas you have the image detail group here with where you can find some sharp areas on the image bigger areas getting sharper more details even more details so whatever you modify on this file this will affect the final design of your image because all the layers the P1, P2, P3 on the polyar group are, are getting affected by the basic image adjustment I will show it to you just to take an idea what this layer does and affects all the other layers and your final design I will appear this detail layer too so it creates even more sharper and contrasted areas I will modify this layer too to give more contrast the image saturation you can modify let's increase the saturation ok so now I will click Control S or Command S on Mac keyboard saving the basic image adjustments and you will see it will pop up a message that it's going to update the smart object this means that the final design from the poly art effects it's updating the smart objects and you will see how it affects all the design now you can see what was the change but from the history menu you can see only from this layer how it affects all the design before after I will leave it as it was before so you can start editing your design from this layer and then go to modify the poly artifact you will see you have three layers P1, P2, P3 the sharpen image layer and you have a, a close layer which is to reveal and edit to add more poly effect on your design each of these are carrying the cutout effect and are made and modified this way so it creates these shape areas on your image so if you go on the P1 effect and double click on the filter effect on the, of the layer it will open up the, the effect, the cutout effect on the cutout effect you can change the number of levels on your image you can change the edge simplicity if you want to be more accurate on your image or no so I will make this to 7 the edge fidelity so the higher the value is the more to your image shape goes the lower it creates more abstract shapes on your image so I will leave it as it is now just to take a preview what you can change and modify on your layer so quickly 
you can see how it affects your design before and after it creates more abstract shapes the same you can do for the other layers if you want you can open this layer to create more shapes some brighter some darker you can also adjust the P2 layer which gives on certain areas shapes and poly effects just to see and this is caused if you double click on the layer I have modified the blend so it doesn't affect all the black areas on your image the way it should on the P3 brighten layer I have made this layer to create a more brighter image, more brighter areas and create some bright areas on your image on all these layers you can modify the blending mode like on this one certain I have the screen mode you can change it to overlay hard light or anything you want on your image you can modify the vibrance layer you see I have increased the vibrance of the colors and the saturation so it's up to you what you want to do and now let's go to the sharpen image layer if I close the layer you can see the areas it affects it, it creates a more contrast and sharpen areas this is caused from the cutout effects that this layer carries and the high pass effect the high pass effect it creates the sharpen areas so if you double click the high pass effect click OK change the radius value and you can change this into your, into your needs and accordance of your image so I will make this one in the 94% and you will see how it will affect my design let's see before and after it creates more contrasted areas and more lighter and darker areas it is an I plus on all this if you want a more clear or more stylish abstract image you have the color adjustment group where you can select your color options play with all these and create the poly art effect you want on your image you can combine Photoshop actions and create even more interesting and awesome designs now with the poly art effect the good thing is that all the layers are smart objects which means that they carry their filter effect on each layer so you can go for example on the P2 layer and I can add one more filter on this layer you can add uh, as many filters you want so I will show you a preview uh, what you can do and take your design a step even more further let's go to filters filter gallery and I will select the ocean ripple I will leave it as it is just to take an idea how you can make your design one step further and create even more interesting designs so it's up to you how your final design is going to look 
for the images I have done with more than one Photoshop action, I have opened the photo, ran the action, modified my image, the effect, the way I wanted, made the image flatten, and ran again the polyar effect. If you don't want to have your image flattened, you can run one action, save it, open again the image, run a second action, and simply take the, the group with the filters, the, the layer of the each action filters, and create more interesting designs. It is a simple to use Photoshop action. I would be glad to see your designs from this section. Don't hesitate to contact me via email on the Graphic River if you have any problem with the action or any help you might need. It would be a pleasure to help you. Please don't forget to rate my actions. Your support is very valuable and I really hope it helped you a lot this tutorial to understand what you can edit and modify in the action. Thank you very much.